When the world's first airplane flew in 1903, everyone find it hard to believe. Because before that, flying was seen as a part of the fantasy. But scientists have found evidences that suggests that the world's first aeroplane was not invented by the Wright brothers, but it was already done by ancient civilizations thousands of years ago. Once again welcome to our videos. In Colombia's rainforest there is a place where in ancient time, a civilization used to live, who made different objects with a mixture of gold and copper, with great accuracy and beauty. This civilization is now known as Quimbaya. Thousand year ago due to some natural calamity, this entire civilization came to an end. But these people had left a lot of things behind them. In 1965, a team of archaeologists and researchers while excavating the area found a big chest, full of gold objects. This was a small portion of artifacts that people of Quimbaya civilization used to make. From jewelry to decoration pieces, there was everything in the chest. But there was one thing which attracted everyone's attention. There was one artifact, which looked like a modern aeroplane. Thousands of years ago there were no aeroplanes, therefore people thought it was a gold model of some winged insect. But there was something about this model, that was about to surprise everyone. When this model was sent to aerodynamic experts for detailed study, different layers of secrets seems to get uncovered. It was found that the model was quite different from the birds and insects. Because there is no bird whose tail is upright, unlike this model. This tail is called rudder in engineering. Is a very important part of the aircraft, which controls the direction of the aircraft. Also, all the insects and birds had their wings attached to the upper of their body. Whereas in this model the wings are attached to the lower part of the body, and this can only be seen in modern aeroplanes and the space shuttle. These wings are called ailerons in engineering which helps in turning the aircraft left and right. More than thousands of years before Wright Brothers, this model has made the experts and researchers confused. Because along with rudder and ailerons, the design of this model is aerodynamics friendly. To minimize the friction caused by the air during the flight, aircraft are designed in such a way that they face minimum air resistance. And this design is called aerodynamics friendly design. That is if this model was made just as a toy, then why it had taken care of those intricate details, which were not even heard of in that era. Did the Quimbaya civilization thousands of years ago, was successful in making actual aircraft? Was this intricate model a replica of their aircraft? You might get the answer to this question in this video itself. 550 kilometers away from the Egyptian city of Cairo, is the place of worship of ancient Egyptians, which is known as the Temple of Seti. And this place is also hiding a lot of secrets. Like other ancient Egyptian sites, secret messages were engraved on the stone walls of this temple. This writing is called hieroglyphics, which reveals a lot of details about the life and death of people living here and kings ruling this place. These 2,000-year-old hieroglyphics had some hidden messages that were maybe written for us. Egyptologist Dr. Ruth Hover was taking picture of these hieroglyphics for research, at the time she felt something beneath her shoes. She saw a broken piece of hieroglyphics laying under her shoes. But she had no idea that, the piece of this stone was about to make a sensation in the world. When Dr. Ruth Hover placed the broken piece to the rest of the hieroglyphics, then the entire thing became clear. The wall had some objects, that resembles objects of modern technology. A modern aeroplane, which had rudder in it. A helicopter-shaped object, that resembles modern day war helicopter. Also, there was an object look like modern yachts and submarines. This small piece of hieroglyphics had made the Egyptologists, researchers and scientists amazed and confused. Because the technology which is not even 200 years old, how did ancient Egyptians could know 2,000 years ago with so many details? It doesn't ends here. Researchers believe that although helicopter, yacht, aeroplane and submarine can be clearly understood. But what are these things beside them? Are these things technologies of the future, which we haven't seen yet? Or this is the proof found in the Temple of Seti that ancient Egyptians had all these technologies? 
These links to modern technology are not limited to Temple of Seti. There is a tomb near oldest pyramid of Egypt called Djoser, where archaeologists had found a lot of showpieces made by ancient Egyptians. And among these showpieces, there was a wooden carved artifact which resembles a bird. Experts believe although the model at first glance looks like a bird but after further research, one after the other mystery popped out. Seeing its aerodynamic design and the location of its wings, it won't be an exaggeration to say that it bore resemblance to modern aircraft. To test these claims of the experts it was needed to do a flying test of this bird-like model. Simon Anderson who is an aerodynamic expert, created a replica of this model, which was five times larger than the original model. When the flying test of this model was carried out in the lab seeing the results Simon was very surprised. Model was completely aerodynamic but one very vital piece was missing in it. An aeroplane needs a tail to take off and land and this tail was not present in the model. But the surprising fact was that there was a mark of a broken part, where the tail should have been. This broken part indicates that the person who made this model had added the tail, but due to some reason the tail is now broken off. Simon added a tail to the model and again tested it, in the simulator and this time the results were very surprising. The model was floating like a glider in the air, which is a proof that this 2,000-year-old model was perfect for flying. If the ancient Egyptians were able to make this perfect model then were they able to fly that? This question will also leave experts and researchers wondering, like hieroglyphics found in Temple of Seti and the model of aircraft from the Quimbaya civilization. Hope you will like and share this video. My heartfelt appreciation for your loving comments. We'll meet you in another amazing video.